if you are going to apply for gks 2022 for masters and phd this year then this video is for you so let's start Hello viewers I am Amar Dilawar and finally the wait is over GKS graduate 2022 for masters and phd degree is open now I hope that you have downloaded all the forms and application guidelines if you didn't then please go to the link in the description box and download all the guidelines all the application forms and necessary documents in this video we will discuss some tips and tricks that how can you increase your chances of selection for GKS 2022 So before starting this video I would like to request you please subscribe to my channel and like this video. So firstly we will discuss about the selection of track like which track you want to apply embassy track or university track or which university you want to choose. Many people think that it is very easy to choose a track and they don't put lot of attention in choosing a track that whether they go for embassy track or university track so i will give you some tips that which track is better for you for example if your grades are very high and if you have english language certificates or korean language certificates if you have lot of awards then you must go for embassy track because embassy track is a little bit tough as compared to university track but if your grades are low you don't have any language certificate and you have some acceptance letter from korean professor then university track is better for you while choosing an embassy track or the university track you must look at the number of seats for your country for example if embassy track have less number of seats and university track have more number of seats then you must go for the track which have more number of seats then the next point we will discuss is about the selection of university many candidates they want to go to seoul national university korea university yonsei university please keep one thing in your mind that these universities ranking is very high their internal selection procedure is very very tough for example they have their ielts requirement they have their topic requirement they have their toic requirement so if your grades are very high and if you have lot of certificates then you must go for these universities which have high ranking but if your grades are low you don't have any language certificates then i request you to please go for regional universities like the universities which are far away from the main cities for example there are some universities which are located in regional areas and students they don't want to get admission in those universities so in those universities to get admission is very easy so if your grades are low then you must go for some regional universities next point is very important which is language certificates please keep in mind that many students thousand of students they want to get gks and their profile is very strong many students they have contacted me and they said why ielts is necessary why toic is necessary why topic is necessary because this scholarship is very very competitive and if you have any language certificate even its ielts its toic or its topic it will increase your chances of selection for 20% so if you have now enough time to take any language exam i request you to please take any language exam before applying for gks the third step is your research papers for example if you want to apply for phd degree so then in masters you must publish at least one or two research paper even your research paper are not published you have just submitted to the journal please mention those research papers and many students are confused that they are not first author of their research paper even if you are second author third author or even the last author then that is your research paper so you must mention this research paper in your profile it will make a great impact on your profile the next thing we will discuss is about your conferences your internship and your awards many students take it very easy and they didn't mention any awards and any certificates in their application i would highly recommend you that you please mention all the awards and all the certificates which you got in your previous degrees and if you have attended any international conference any national conference any exhibition any internship so please mention those internships those conferences in your statement of purpose this will make a great impact on your application and it will also increase your chances for selection another important thing which will increase your chances for selection in gks is the attestation of documents 
as you know that the apostillation of documents or attestation of documents from the Korean embassy is necessary this time. For example, if you didn't attest your documents from the Korean embassy or if you didn't apostille your documents, then it is very difficult to get GKS 2022 this year. Another bonus tip which I want to give you for this GKS 2022 is that GKS has announced a new category which is R&D this year and it has approximately 100 seats. So if you can find your major in the R&D section, I would highly recommend you that please apply for R&D section because this year it is a new category and very few students they are going to apply for this category. So it is very easy to get this R&D scholarship this year. I hope that you will follow all these tips and tricks while preparing your GKS for this year. So if you have any question regarding this video, please leave in the comment section. See you in next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.